issues. So for this morning's talk about what we know from research of teacher preparation for diversity and equity, I'm pulling out of that big review almost all U.S. research, and it had, it had to be directly related to the preparation or certification of teachers for equity and diversity. So what Ana Maria, Vie Ana Maria Viegas and I found was that there are three big, big lines of research in this area. Research, and I'm going straight across, research on the impact of policies regarding alternate teacher preparation or certification with the goal of equity and diversity. And pulling from that big review, only looking at U.S. studies, only the concentrated in this area, there were 30 studies in this category. In the middle, and this is the biggest category, there is research about preparing white teacher candidates to work for equity and diversity. This is the largest category, and we had about 125 studies in this area. And finally, there is research about recruiting and supporting students of color in teacher education programs. And we had about 25 studies in that category. So what I want to do is to offer an answer to that question at the top of the slide. What do we know from research about teacher preparation for equity and diversity? But I'm going to argue that in order to get there, in order to try to answer that question, we need to compare and contrast those social practices that I just showed on the previous slide in which researchers engage when they do the research in these areas. So for a while, I'm going to talk across the three lines. And before I go to the next slide, I invite you to notice the colors and the pictures at the bottom. The colors on this screen are somewhat different from the colors on that one. So I would suggest you look over there, because they're actually more attractive colors. Um, but I'll keep that color scheme throughout to sort of help you follow which line of research or program of research I'm focusing on. And I'll use those pictures as a guide as well. So we have the little uh, Capitol building to denote policy. We have a, a young teacher, white teacher working with an uh, African-American child. And we have in the third box, an African-American teacher. So with the colors and the pictures, hopefully we'll, we'll all be able to follow along. So first, I want to ask how the researchers in each of these three areas constructed the problem that their research addressed. Now the idea here is that research problems don't exist out there just waiting for researchers to come and take them up. Problems, research problems, are deliberately constructed by researchers in keeping with their major assumptions about knowledge, about teaching and learning, about the purposes of schooling, and about the relationship of research practice and policy. Research problems are also shaped by researchers' identities, purposes, agendas, and the larger policy and political agendas with which they align their work more broadly. And I'll come back to this as I go. So with research about the impact of policies regarding alternate teacher certification and preparation for equity and diversity, here's how the problem is constructed. And remember, this includes what logic is used. And you'll, and you'll see where I'm going with this. So, how have researchers constructed the problem in this line of research? So here's how the argument goes. Teacher quality is the most important factor in students' achievement. But low-income, urban, and or highly diverse schools have disproportionately fewer well-qualified teachers and high teacher turnover because licensing and teacher union policies are problematic and because university programs don't produce teachers who are interested in entering 
and staying in highly diverse urban and often low-income schools. And those are really or, or, or. They're not necessarily all the same. So policies permitting alternative preparation, certification, and entry have been set up, and this is the case in 47 of the 50 states, as policy levers to try to solve the problem of both teacher quality and teacher supply. That's the research problem in a nutshell. The studies that construct the problem this way often use the term the teacher quality gap, intentionally imitating the language of the achievement gap, and call attention to the failure of school districts, states, and especially university teacher preparation programs to ensure that diverse, low-income schools have high-quality teachers. Now, following directly from this construction of the problem, we found two broad research questions across the 30 studies in this area. The first, what are the effects of alternative preparation and certification pathways, entry routes, or selection recruitment programs on desired student and other outcomes in schools with low income, highly diverse, or urban populations? And the second question, what are the experiences of new alternative entry route teachers in these schools? Most studies that address the first question, and that was most of the studies, examined the impact of alternate pathways on outcomes like students' achievement, the distribution of well-qualified teachers across schools, the demographic makeup of teachers entering the workforce, teachers' sense of efficacy and preparedness, and teacher retention. They didn't all look at all of those outcomes, but they often looked at an array of those outcomes. The small group of studies that looked at the second question focused on things like the tensions between the goals of alternative programs and the actual realities of urban schools, or how alternatively certified teachers made decisions about whether to stay or leave their jobs. 